All right, what's going on YouTube? Card Collector 2 coming at you here with a brand new video. And today we are back with a two box break of Topps Finest Basketball, something we have probably not said ever on this channel. Topps Finest Basketball has not been around since, don't even remember the last time it's been out. 06, 07, 07, 08. I think Duran has Topps Finest rookies, maybe Russell Westbrook. I'm fairly confident Steph Curry does not have a Topps Finest rookie. So somewhere around the 13, 14, 15 year mark since we've had Topps Finest basketball. Rock, rocking the Kobe shirt today, hoping we pull something cool. Obviously Kobe has rookies in Finest in 96, 97, one of the greatest basketball rookie classes ever. So hopefully we can bring some of that luck to this first Topps Finest release in quite some time. Just like Bowman University, these will not be licensed as Topps does not have the basketball license with Topps being acquired by Fanatics. In the future, we could see this in an NBA uniform once again. So these probably, you would think, probably don't have a ton of long-term potential if the logos are coming back. But the fact that this is the first time in 13, 14, 15 years that we've been able to rip this, I think this will be fun. I would have been 14, 15 years old the last time we had Topps Finest Basketball, so over half my life. So I thought this would uh, this would be a cool one to get into. So we're expecting one autograph per box on average. Um, 18 packs, four cards per pack. Haven't really looked at the checklist a whole lot, but I saw Topps release it and I was like, gotta try some. So let's see how we did. Two boxes, we'll just open them both to start. Set those there. Bang. Bang. All right. Let's see what we got. One auto per box. Definitely not big on like one auto. I'd always love two. I think in time, a lot of products will go to one auto just with as much as you're asking an athlete to sign anymore. Some of these guys are signing 50, 75, 100,000 autographs. That's just so much signing. Just not sure that will continue through sports cards in the future. So as that happens, I think you'll likely see more case hit chases rather than autographs, jerseys, stuff like that. So we'll see, but more specifically on autographs, I don't know how long that will, uh, that will maintain. All right, so kind of a pretty bland start. I'm not sure what I was expecting here, uh, but every single person is in a suit. Uh, my man Kenny Anderson is the only one of the three guys that does, or four guys that does not have a tie on, uh, obviously with no license. Not sure what we were expecting. Maybe a little bit more airbrush, something like what Leaf might do in some of their basketball releases, uh, but this might be Topps Finest Suit Edition. All right, Steve Kerr. Damon Stoudemire, Joe Smith. Definitely a lot of old school guys in this so far, though. James Worthy, Jerome Lane, Penny Hardaway. Not sure we're going to get any active players at all. Don't know what Topps has license for. Something in here, some cracked ice parallel. Number 299, Steve Kerr. Probably could be worse guys to pull, I would think, in this. Being the Warriors coach and being on, what, three of the Jordan Bulls teams. Is that a 299? Cracked ice parallel. That's kind of cool. Larry Nance Sr. and John Starks. I think there's got to be some pictures that we could get of these guys when they were younger. Scott Burrell. This is going to date me, but I don't know who Scott Burrell is. Mike Bibby. Isaiah Thomas with the fur. Interesting. All right, we're a couple packs in. We're probably five, six packs in. First thoughts, right? We're a third of the way through one box. What's your guys' thoughts on this? Is this something you think will uh, will continue? Do you think these have any value? Do you like them? Drop a comment down below. Let me know any of your guys' uh, first takes on the sets. Robert Ori, Jeff Dumars in the Rock in the USA with a medal. That's at least cooler than a, a suit. This is thick. Got a black. 
All right, got a refractor, a Larry Nance Senior, got Shaq, old school Shaq, looking young. And then an out of 15 auto. Out of 15 auto. 10 of 15. A Donald Foil. I don't know who that is. I don't know who this dude is. No. Still don't know. Well, it's out of 15. Better than pulling a base auto of a guy I don't know. A Donald Foil. Feel like I should know who this is. But I don't. So. Hmm. Again, could be worse. Joel and Howard. No thanks. Fab Five and the team up north, so definitely not my uh, not my favorite. Lottie Divock. I think you can pull super factors from this. All right, since we saved the auto, I will save you guys. Since we got the auto, I'll save you guys the time. We'll put all of these remaining first box packs in here, and then we'll go into box number two. So if you guys want to see more videos like this on the page in the future, regardless of what it is any product, feel free to drop a comment down below. Let us know what kind of boxes you want to see us rip more. Again, if it's hockey, baseball, basketball, football, F1, Pokemon, unlicensed basketball, Leaf, memorabilia, drop a comment down below, but make sure to follow. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys never miss out when we upload any cool sports car content. All right, last pack to finish up box number one. Alright, so, doesn't look like we were expecting a whole lot there at the end. And all of the packs remaining, there's one refractor. So we've got a bunch of suits coming up. Gary Payton, Danny Manning, Brad Sellers, Sean Kemp, refractor, in a plain white tee. Okay. Larry Nance, and then these look to be all base cards. Jason Kidd, that's it. So, I will be honest, that is not my favorite product so far. Uh, the lack of anything jersey related and 100% suit and 100% players that are no longer playing in the NBA does not uh, intrigue me as much. Again, I did not look at the checklist, so that is not on top. It's just more that... I don't have a ton of interest in uh, retired NBA legends in suits. So, what would you guys change about this product if you were going to do it a little bit differently? Feel free to drop a comment down below. I think one of the things that I would change just looking at it is if there's any way to include any uh, current players, I would do that. I would have probably tried to include more number cards or more parallels. Uh, the fact that we got like three refractors in one numbered card in the first box doesn't exactly excite me, uh, especially when they're all in suits. I think you've got to try to make up some of the value elsewhere. I know that probably limits production because the less number cards you put in every box, the more product you can make. It definitely hurts production, but it's if you're trying to make a product like this stick that has the best card in it being a guy in a suit that used to play basketball 10 plus years ago, I think you've got to add a little bit more desire if you want to see a product like this sustained. So that would be my initial take. Like I don't, like I mentioned, I don't know who a Donald Foil is and the fact that he's in a suit and not even in a jersey or if he was a coach, uh, it just, to me, just doesn't do, doesn't do much for me, doesn't move the needle. Something sparkly right there. Hopefully it's a low numbered auto. Let's see if we get like a super factor or something good. I think that's purple. That could be good. We didn't get a purple in the first box. All right, let's do half the stack. All right, Jason Richardson, Sean Kemp. I think that's the auto. So we'll take this and put this on the bottom. Set that right there. All right, Kerr again, Glenn Rice, Dominique, Grant Hill, BJ, Dirk, Brad Sellers, Refractor, Vladi Divock, and then out of 299, Greg Anthony. 
announcer. Yes, it is my basketball. Larry Johnson, Grandma Ma, Benny Del Negro, Robert Ory, Hornacek, Ron Harper. Got to get my main Greg Anthony sleeved up. Greg, see, that's what's crazy is this guy doesn't have anything on the back. Got to find a, a back of that guy's car. Is that a Donald foil? If I find the back of his car, it'll probably tell me more about him. See if I can find him in here. He's taken 12th overall by New York. Didn't know that. All right, Jerome Lane, a numbered card of Dan. I always I don't know how to say that well enough. Majural, Mar no idea. Probably just straight butchered that. KG, numbered card of 199 of Joe Dumers. Dumars, that's cool. Dumers, oops. Poor jo Joe Dumars. Tony Kukoc, I mean, looking young. Steve Smith, Joe Smith, Anthony. Greg Anthony, Gary Payton, Del Curry, Mike Bibby, Kimbe Matumbo with the finger wave, Scott Burrell, James Worthy, Vince Carter, Sean Kemp, Jason Richardson, Sean Kemp Refractor again, and then Corey Blunt. No idea. Uh, Corey appeared with the game's biggest superstars in the famous Frozen Moment commercial in 1997. Wearing a Los Angeles uniform, the director wanted him to be dunked on under the basket, but Corey Wise said, not me, and moved to the front. Corey was a first-round draft pick, 25th overall by Chicago in 1993, ultimately playing with six teams in 11 seasons. Yay. Shout-out to Corey. Shout-out to Corey for being our auto. Number 27 of 75, Dikembe, Joe Dumars, Dan M., we're going to call him Sean Kemp Refractor. Lay some of these out for you guys to see. I think it has potential. I think if these were in jerseys, they had current players. Again, I think this has a lot of potential when Topps gets the license and has the ability to print a Luca on card auto black refractor in his Mavs uniform. I think that would be super cool. Topps Finest was a popular brand and I think would do really well in today's current card market, uh, but I'm not sure. NBA Hall of Famers and guys I've never heard of, uh, probably more on me than Topps. Um, but I'm not sure this is the product I'm currently after as a card collector. I'm not sure many old school collectors do want the guys in the suits. I'd be curious if you've been a collector of basketball cards for 10, 15, 20 years. would love to know your opinion because I think this is more of the target audience. Uh, will you have interest in a Sean Kemp card in a white t-shirt? Does that do anything for you? Or will you stick to more Panini inserts for now until Topps gets a license? So feel free to drop a comment down below. That is all I got for this one, guys. I will see you guys on the next one. More cool card content coming soon. But for now, that's all I got. Peace, guys.